Do you know how many Muslims think it's completely fine to wake up for work and then pray Fajr and go to work? And they wake up for work at 8 o'clock or 8.30? They deliberately do not pray Fajr. They sleep and they think it's completely fine that once they wake up, they pray and then they go to work. And when I told the brother, he was thrown off like, what? You kidding me? How am I going to wake up this early in the morning? And how am I going to go back to sleep? And man, it's like somebody told them that one plus one equals two. The guy completely lost it. Imagine, imagine. They don't know. Ignorance is widespread. Ignorance is all over the place. That's why we have an obligation to learn this deen and educate others. You'll be surprised how many people around you don't know the basics of Islam. They don't know the basics of Islam. This is a very basic subject matter. If you deliberately intend not to wake up for Fajr, According to some of the scholars, you have left Islam. If you actually don't wake up for Salat al-Fajr and you deliberately the night before did not want to wake up because you're tired, you've left Islam by missing that Salat. You have to enter back into Islam to continue the rest of your Muslim life. It's a very serious matter. And yes, your life revolves around Salat. Salat comes first, then comes work, and then comes this, and then comes that. People put salah on the, the last of their, uh, the end, you know, the last thing on their uh, priority list. They think about work and income and, 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 and salary before they think of, of, of worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal. What is that going to do for you on Yawm Al-Qiyamah? So you cannot, you cannot pray Fajr after Fajr and think it's okay. Now if once in a blue moon you fall asleep and you, you intend to wake up, you set up the alarm, you're so tired you don't wake up. As soon as you wake up, you pray, okay, you, could, you still have to feel extremely bad and, 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 and uh, you know, hold yourself accountable. Account yourself. What have I done that has uh, made me, you know, uh, uh, had made Allah deprive me of praying Fajr or waking up for Salah? Something must be terribly wrong. Whatever it is, identify it and address it and cure it and get rid of it. That's the bottom line. When you, when once in a blue moon, once every six months or once every five months, you don't wake up for Salat al-Fajr, man, there's something terribly wrong. There's something terribly wrong in your Iman. Don't act like you don't know. Don't act like it's normal. It is not normal. It is not okay. As a Muslim, your whole life, you're expected to wake up for Fajr every single day and pray Fajr hadir, on time, within the time allocated for Salat al-Fajr, i.e. before sunrise. Kapish, Huh? Huh?